um, we have 36 participants. We are recording, so I think we are ready to uh, uh, ready to uh, get going. So Amit, why don't you take it away? Uh, yeah, sure. Thanks. Um, welcome everyone to um, uh, Jet Physics uh, sessions. So in this uh, first part, uh, we're gonna. Uh, talk about um, JET observable. And in the second part, uh, which will be covered by uh, Yasuki, and he's gonna talk about JET medium uh, excitations, uh, hands-on session. So let me um, share my screen. So essentially, uh, in the previous um, part of the uh, JET session, we talked about um, uh, different ways to set up um, XML files for um, JET energy loss uh, calculation. And essentially, um, we wanted to, um, there were three exercises that we want to uh, do in this particular session. The first one is to um, uh, use these uh, two different setup, uh, one with the parton gun and matter vacuum shower. And second setup is uh, in presence of a hydrodynamic medium, uh, do jet energy loss uh, using matter and LVT in presence of recoil. And um, so the task was to generate thousand events and then look at the, um, energy spectrum of final state uh, partons. So first we're gonna look at this particular exercise and then um, we're gonna look at um, um, jet spectrum and fragmentation function and jet shape in PP and lead lead. And we talked about in the previous session um, how to set up XML files and uh, generate events. Um, and this was your uh, basically homework to generate the um, event file with the list of final state uh, hadrons uh, for these two setup. So in this portion, basically, we're going to work on the analysis um, for the event files that we have generated. So. So let's go to uh, the readme file that is on um, summer school 2020, 2020, uh, 22, uh, July 29 jets. Um, there is a readme file and this is the uh, instruction that we are going to follow. So essentially for the energy spectrum, uh, we generated a thousand events for these two setup. And you should uh, see in your build directory uh, following uh, two files generated. So if I go to uh, inside Docker container, uh, inside Jetscape uh, build, um, you should be able to find um, event file with name um, test out pegan hydro matter LBT. Um, final state hadrons. Um, and also for the vacuum case, you will have a file with uh, final state hadrons, partons, and um, the full event file. So these three files are generated uh, when you run uh, Jetscape. So now we're gonna uh, only look at uh, final state partons for the, these two uh, setup, one uh, with matter vacuum and another one uh, in presence of medium uh, and matter LBT as uh, energy loss model. So let's go ahead and um, do the analysis. Uh, and for this, we're gonna use uh, Jupyter Notebook. So first uh, we'll go and uh, CD, change our directory into uh, the summer school uh, JETS uh, Notebook. So Go there.
So now I'm inside uh, notebooks and you will see um, files uh, called jetanalysis.ipy uh, notebook. So this is the file we're gonna look at and do the analysis. Um, so, so next step is to launch Jupyter Notebook. So in previous uh, sessions, you have used uh, Jupyter Notebook before. So you should be able to uh, follow the similar instructions and open uh, Jupyter Notebook. And this command should be launched uh, inside uh, Docker container. And you need to be inside uh, this following directory. So please follow the commands that are written in the readme as I'm showing here. Um, <clears throat> so once you enter this command, you will see um, a web address uh, written and this, is, this web address you're gonna copy and paste into a web browser. So copy this and so once you do that, then you will see uh, these different directories, files, uh, structure. So we're gonna open this dnde spectra.ipy notebook file. So before I continue, uh, are people able to find um, this file here? So So if you find this file, then we're gonna click on this um, to launch uh, the program file. And essentially you need to um, provide the full path of the uh, event file that is produced. Um, so the vacuum case uh, is the first line and the second line is the case where you have um, medium and matter LBT um, as energy loss modules. So these two uh, lines basically we provide the full path and the rest of the code will read and construct a energy spectrum for uh, final state uh, partons. And the way you run these uh, individual cell, uh, you click on the cell and then you're gonna click run here. So that, and then this is second cell is basically um, setting up um, parameters for the figure that we will generate. And for this, we're gonna use these two packages here matplotlib and numpy. Uh, numpy basically will be used to um, <coughs> um, construct arrays and um, make final um, spectrum. So with these two, so I'm gonna run second cell and third cell is just a function for uh, taking the ratio. If you uh, want to take the ratio between two spectrum. Uh, this is just a definition. Um, this is the way you define a function in Python. So I'm gonna run this function too. Um, and then we 
this uh, particular cell is uh, about reading the final state part on a uh, list. So uh, in the data file, the third column is the um, energy of the parton. So basically it, uh, this line means that um, read the third column and store it as an array in, in this particular um, variable here. So for both of the files, uh, we're gonna do this. Um, let me just go above here. And setting here PT min, PT max. Uh, this is for the spectrum. Um, and next lines uh, are basically how you construct histograms. Um, so you provide the X axis array that you want to fill in the spectrum and then the bin width uh, in the X axis. So basically there is no modification. Uh, only change that you need to make is provide the correct path um, of, of the uh, final state partons for the vacuum case and for the in medium case. So let's go ahead and run this cell as well. And you, once you run that, um, it basically constructs the, uh, fills the energy of the final state partons in the x-axis. And this is the differential count uh, in, in the bins of air energy. So, so basically what you see here is that the black uh, curve in this particular spectrum is for the vacuum case where you have um, a quark with fixed energy, uh, which is 100 GeV in our scenario, and it's going through a vacuum shower. And in the red uh, scenario, you have same um, part on with 100 GeV energy, but it's going through the medium, uh, and the, you are using uh, matter and LBT uh, energy loss module uh, in to do the energy loss in the in in quark-gluon plasma, and the coupling, uh, the in medium coupling is 0.2 in this case, and you can see that uh, effect of medium is essentially to suppress uh, or reduce the energy, uh, which can be seen by the depletion in this high uh, energy uh, region, and you can see the spectrum rises in the low energy region. So essentially you have medium, in medium splittings and uh, basically you producing soft, softer uh, partons and they appear on the uh, low energy region. So this depletion and enhancement in, in the low region essentially is the medium effect. So here uh, I'm just showing uh, for the coupling uh, constant alpha S 0.2 but you can repeat similar uh, exercise for a higher value of uh, alpha S um, and you can try with other parameters as well uh, in the calculation like switching virtuality, uh, you can change, uh, you can change different uh, parameterization for uh, transport coefficient uh, like Q hat uh, and so on. And then one can look at the effect uh, that it has in the final uh, spectrum. So this is the uh, first part of the uh, exercise. Um, so for the second portion, uh, which was to generate PP events and uh, also do, do the jet energy loss for the lead lead uh, case. And for this particular case, we wanted to generate 250 um, events uh, in PP and lead lead. And we restricting ourselves to PT had bins 100 to 160 GeV. And then we're gonna look at jets uh, also in the same uh, PT uh, range. So 
the homework was to generate uh, 250 events uh, for PP and uh, lead lead. So if you have completed uh, this exercise, uh, that is to generate uh, event files. And once you generate event files, you will see a file with following names in um, build directory. And essentially we will analyze these two output file uh, using a fast jet uh, package and construct jets and then look at the uh, jet spectrum, jet shape and jet fragmentation function. So let's proceed with this uh, particular exercise here. Um, so let me move. Uh, So if I go to um, Jetscape build uh, directory, um, you, the homework was to generate the event files and essentially for the PP case, you will have uh, a file name that says um, test out, uh, test out PP um, and test out lead lead. So these uh, files you should have um, generated um, in your build directory. So in order to do a jet analysis, um, we're gonna inside Docker, we will go to this particular directory and there is a, a source file in it sh. So we need to run this particular exercise. So it will create a environment for us to run a fast jet. Without this, uh, you will see error, uh, basically that it will not recognize uh, a fast jet uh, implementation. So first you want to do this particular um, command inside uh, Docker. So essentially I'm gonna go to this directory here And if you do ls, so there is a init.ss file here. And now you need to do a source, uh, the second command here. So now it uh, creates the environment to do uh, jet analysis. And next step would be to find the analysis script. Uh, which is uh, you can find inside this directory called analysis underscore scripts. So I go here, next instruction says here that we're gonna go to this particular directory, which is analysis script, and you will find a script uh, jet reconstruction dot pi. Um, and essentially we're gonna run this command uh, to let me just show this. Uh, so you will run this command where uh, PP event list is the input and you provide the full name for the output file here. And same, you're gonna run this script uh, providing lead lead as an input file and um, you will give a following name for output file. So it will uh, basically do the jet analysis and construct uh, jets and write them in ASCII format. And you will see these uh, different columns in the output file. So let's go ahead and uh, complete this portion. So now we go to analysis scripts and we're gonna run we're gonna copy this command here that says um, uh, 
Python reconstruction PP. And second instruction is same command, but reading the uh, lead lead uh, event file. And you're gonna run the same command from the same directory. Um, So once you do that, you will see that uh, there are two files generated in the data directory, um, jet underscore pp and jet underscore lead lead. And if you look at uh, the columns in this file, basically you will see uh, this kind of structure. Um, the first column would be the, information about the jet and then the subsequent, uh, sorry, the first row would be um, the information about jet and the last column basically is the status. Uh, for the jet you have, we choose the status 10 here and then rest of the rows are um, constituents. Uh, so charged hadron inside this particular jets. Um, and then, so here it again starts with zero. So this is second uh, jet um, in the event and so on. So basically you will see, uh, I have these uh, labeled here. So the, the second column is the PT uh, and then the third column, eta, phi, and then status and then PID. And each block starts with a zero, uh, which is the information about the jet. And then you have charged hadron inside the jet. And then again, uh, second information about the second jet is listed and then charged hadron inside. So basically uh, we have this information now and we can go ahead um, and construct uh, inclusive jet spectrum. Also, we can look at jet shape so essentially how the particles are distributed, charged particles are distributed inside the jet. We can also talk about jet uh, fragmentation function. So all the information that is needed is uh, uh, included uh, in, in this output file. So to do this, we're gonna again launch uh, Jupyter uh, Notebook. And in this, uh, this time you're gonna look at a different file, which is jet underscore analysis. So again, these commands needs to be executed inside uh, Docker. So first, so we need to be inside notebook and so it's here. So now I'm inside um, the summer school directory uh, notebook and if you launch, uh, let's see if uh, Jupyter Notebook is running, you can type PS and see what are the processes running inside it. So I don't see any uh, Jupyter Notebook instances. If you have them, then you have to close it uh, and then relaunch. So, uh, excuse me, and Jupyter Notebook, yes. Okay, so we follow the same procedure, basically uh, copy this link that is generated uh, once you type Jupyter Notebook instance and go to the web browser, I'm gonna paste it here. Oops. Cool. Uh, so now you, you see um, 
a file that says jet underscore analysis and this is the particular file that will uh, be used to do the um, form the in spectrum for uh, inclusive jets and jet shape and fragmentation function so let's open this uh, file here So essentially the first block is about uh, providing the correct path of the output file that we generated. And in this particular uh, exercise, we are looking at uh, jets and the constituents. So th that information is um, in the jet underscore pp dot that and jet underscore lead lead uh, dot that for the medium case. And this is for the pp vacuum case. So. Um, so this is the full, uh, this is the path uh, of the file for PPJ data. And this is the path for uh, lead lead uh, data files. And the jet radius that we used uh, by default, it was set to uh, 0.4. So we, we are gonna use the same uh, jet radius and events that we generated uh, 250 jet events uh, in both cases. So the structure is same as the previous file, uh, but now here, um, first we want to look at uh, jet spectrum. So the jet, jet spectrum is um, always starts with the, the row that starts with zero, that uh, particular uh, row is the has information about jet PT. So, so here uh, we just collect the first we are collecting the indices uh, from the file. Um, and then we extract um, all the all the rows that have index uh, zero, basically this particular line here. And then we save that information in array um, by collecting uh, those particular uh, JPT um, for each event. So let's go ahead and run uh, these cells here. So first one, you click on the first cell and run. And then second one is uh, to load uh, these different uh, two uh, packages in Python and some setup for the figures. So you run this cell here. And the third one is, is just a function that is defined to compute the ratio. So now in the next cell, we're gonna uh, make a histogram for the inclusive jet uh, PTs for each um, uh, jet in, in event. And basically you fill the histogram for those jet PT. And then the error is also propagated um, uh, in, in this particular um, code here. So, now, if you run this particular uh, cell, you will see a picture generated with the uh, differential yield of the jet as a function of uh, jet PT for uh, PP uh, and lead lead. So the black points here are for the PP case and the lead uh, is shown in the red color. And the jet radius is 0.4. It's set uh, in in the code by default. Um, and you can see in 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 this particular um, model calculation, uh, the lead lead is uh, suppressed at each uh, jet PT bins. Uh, obviously, we focused only in a narrow range of PT head bin, which is 100 to 160. So we um, if you want to extend that range, then you have to 
um, include more PT head bins um, in the calculation. So uh, beyond uh, 150 and below, let's say 110, um, if you want to look at uh, spectrum for ZPT, then you need more uh, PT head bins. So, but one can already see the uh, effect of uh, medium in, in the inclusive jets. And one can go ahead and take the ratio of these two spectrum to compute um, jet RAA. And this is the done in the next cell here, taking the ratio of those two curves. Um, so I'll go ahead and run this particular cell. And you will see a the ratio of those two spectrum is basically a uh, jet uh, nuclear modification factor RA as a function of jet PT. Um, and since we are not including uh, bins above 160 GeV uh, and uh, below 100 in GeV, um, we, we cannot uh, trust the spectrum uh, in those uh, jet PT region basically. So, but here we can just see this toy calculation uh, showing us um, the effect of uh, medium in inclusive jets. So, are people able to uh, complete uh, up to this portion? Or is there any question uh, in the Slack? Let me see. Uh, I mean, there was a question on the Jupyter Notebook, but I think that has been uh, resolved. Um, I don't see any other uh, okay. questions on Slack right now. I see. Okay, so next um, observable uh, is, uh, we're gonna look at jet fragmentation function. So for inside each jet, uh, we're going to look at the charged uh, hadron and uh, basically it's PT of the charged hadron divided by the PT of the jet is the uh, transverse momentum fraction. And we're going to fill a one dimensional histogram basically of uh, this transverse momentum fraction and then we're going to divide by number of jets uh, in in that particular event so this is the how the jet fragmentation function is defined and next cell is to uh, the code to basically read the jet pt and the charged hadron inside um, each jet and then compute the momentum fraction and um and then fill this one dimensional histogram of um transverse momentum fraction so if you run this uh, next cell here um it will generate a spectrum for uh, fragment jet fragmentation function so the figure that you will uh, it the code will generate is uh, x axis is the uh, momentum fraction um, carried by the charged hadron uh, relative to the total uh, transverse momenta of the jet. Um, so this is basically dz as a function of z. The black points are uh, for the proton proton collision and the red points are for the lead lead collision. And you can see that uh, suppression in the high uh, Z region um, clearly and enhancement in the low um, low Z region. So you can see some uh, effects from, from the medium. And basically the two setup that we ran, um, the PP uh, vacuum and, and the lead lead. In the lead lead, we picked a particular value of in medium coupling. One can go uh, and change uh those parameters and see how the inclusive jet spectrum or jet fragmentation function changes and here we are just showing a a toy model uh, like calculation basically um but 
still we can see uh, effects from the medium uh, clearly in, in, in this spectrum. And uh, we can also talk about how the uh, charged particles are distributed inside the jet. Uh, and this observable is a jet shape. So, so okay, uh, the next cell, we can also take the ratio here uh, of these two spectrum to get the nuclear modification factor. Um, and this is uh, done basically uh, in the code after, um, after this cell here. So we can run this particular um, cell to get the ratio. And essentially the same behavior, you will see that, that we just uh, discussed. Um, but the observable that I want to talk uh, in, in uh, uh, the last, uh, which is jet shape, um, and it is defined as summing over uh, the PT of the track particles within a, a delta R uh, annular region. And basically it tells you how the particles are distributed, um, the PT of the part, uh, uh, hadrons is distributed inside the jet cone. So this code is um, next cell is uh, essentially reading the constituent inside the jet from the output file and then computing um, the jet shape variable which is rho r. So if you run this particular uh, cell then it will construct um, jet shape uh, spectrum. So let me go ahead and run this cell here. So here also you will uh, see two curves, um, one for PP and one for lead lead, just the uh, spectrum of uh, jet shape as a function of um, R from the center of the jet. So, here you can see that um, as you go to higher value of uh, R, so essentially uh, moving away from the center of the jet, um, you can see that the yield is, uh, is uh, increasing as you move away from the jet cone. So uh, there is a reduction at in the center um, in, in the lead lead case and uh, essentially the the par particles or the energy is moving away um, from the jet cone, um, as you see here. So there is a broadening uh, effect uh, that can be seen in this particular calculation. So now one can go ahead and compute, take the ratio also to see the nuclear modification factor. Um, and essentially the next cell is uh, code to uh, take the ratio and make a plot. Uh, for ratio of jet shape. So if you go here and run this last cell, uh, you will see that um, in the core of the jet, uh, you will see the suppression. And as you move away from, uh, from the core, you will see enhancement. So essentially these particles are broadening and distributing to larger angles. Um, So if you are able to follow, uh, uh, is there a uh, question in Slack uh, or some issue? Yeah, any? There, were, there was some question uh, uh, about the exercise, but um, it seems uh, uh, it seems that has been resolved. If not, uh, Andre should probably uh, uh, speak up. If this uh, has been fixed or not, based on the replies. Hmm. 
yeah please uh, uh, post uh, the update whether the issue is resolved or not yeah. so essentially uh, this is the uh, last exercise um, in this uh, jet session and then uh, where is my pdf file i ah, here so essentially in uh, this last exercise we talked about um, setting up uh, the hard scattering module in PP and we uh, generated the uh, jet events for PP and uh, nucleus nucleus collision. And essentially I talked in the previous session, I talked about these um, uh, settings for nuclear PDF. Um, and today we looked at uh, the spectrums for uh, inclusive jets, uh, fragmentation function and jet shape. So these are for uh, some particular uh, model and uh, particular value of parameters in the XML file. One can essentially go and um, change these parameters such as uh, some of the parameters, uh, for instance, shown here, like switching virtuality um, in medium coupling. And there are also choices to pick um, jet transport coefficient Q hat uh, that one can uh, choose uh, and see their effects in the final uh, spectrums. So, so all these XML files are in the configuration um, directory in, in the summer school material. Um, one can take a look and so if I go to summer school material, there is a config directory and one can look at these different XML files and uh, vary the parameters and see their effect in the uh, final state uh, spectrum. So I think that would uh, conclude uh, basically uh, this part of the JET session. Um, and I think uh, Yasuki, if you are uh, uh, ready or uh, we should, uh, do we need to take a break uh, five minutes or? Uh, I didn't see a yeah, break yeah. on the agenda, but it probably would be uh, welcome to have, have a quick uh, bio break until 11 before we continue. Yeah, I think that should be better. And also some people are working on uh, the, uh, the Amit's Part, I think. Yes, okay. uh, I think it can be resolved uh, definitely. If yeah. uh, any issue you have, please post on Slack. Okay, so uh, yeah, I think we are still uh, resolving the question.